Hello everyone and welcome to the Valentine's Day special where I'm going to be turning this birdhouse into a Valentine's Day themed birdhouse. Before I begin, be sure to like and subscribe and let's see what I can come up with. First thing as always is to add some gesso to this birdhouse that way the paint doesn't soak through onto the wood and then I got started on my base color which I'm doing light pink and sticking with a group of pink colors to stay in the Valentine's Day theme. Once I got through the coat of light pink for the base of the house, I then got started on the roof and I decided on this hot pink warm red color at first and then later I make a couple of adjustments because I felt like it was clashing a little bit too much with the rest of the house but this is what we started off with the base layer for the roof and I was pretty dedicated to making sure that any bird who inhabited this home was content with all of the areas that were painted so I didn't skimp on any areas I painted the underneath of the roof and all of those hard to reach spaces. That way any bird who may be able to fit inside this tiny little home one day would appreciate all of the hard work that I put into it. Really want that bird to feel the love that I put into this house. And after I was done painting that first layer on the roof, I kind of decided to do this shingle looking idea. So to do that, I just took different shades of pink and layered them down one at a time, kind of in a brick layered fashion. And I didn't like how that looked without being blended. So after I put in a lot of different shades of pink, I eventually blended it out. So that way it would be a little more smooth and it looked a bit more like shingles or like some type of rooftop decoration. And I thought it was really cute. It was a really good idea, I thought. And then I also also tried to emulate that on the same side but I personally think the first side turned out better even though I had practice the second side did not turn out as well but it still works really well together and I think it turned out really well overall this is a pretty simple birdhouse so in order to spice it up a little bit I decided to challenge myself with only sticking in the theme of shades of red or pink and then I also decided to add a lot of tiny little cute details to everything so stay tuned to the end to see what I come up with. After I blended my heart out, I then moved on to doing some more detail work. So I first started by changing the shade of the front of the roof. I didn't like that hot pink color, so I made it a little more red. And then I moved on to the side of the house, one of the sides, and decided to add a purple window on this house. So I did break the red color rule and I did add a little bit of purple, but that's the only other color I used, so I think it's okay. I touched up the window and then I added a little bit of light purple inside to make it look like the window had some sort of glass and then I tinted it white to look like the glass was creating a glare. I moved back to the front of the house to put some of that red from the roof onto the surrounding heart. I love that there's a little heart shape in this house. Obviously that fits the theme of Valentine's Day so well. And so I outlined that with red little dots and then I decided to add this hot warm pink to the bottom and added some flowers onto the front of the house and also onto all of the sides of the house too. I was debating on what color to paint the bottom baseboard, which I assume would kind of be the grass for the house, but I was thinking about doing green and I was like, that would be way too much. That would not match the Valentine's theme. It would look like a watermelon, which is cute, but is not Valentine's. So I decided to paint the ground part pink as well, and maybe the house is in a field of flowers. That would be pretty cute, wouldn't it? And then I asked my husband what I should put on the other side of the house because I had a window on one side and I didn't want to do another window. And he suggested a gnome. And I like challenges. So I put a little Valentine's Day gnome on this side of the house along with some of those flowers that we talked about before. The Valentine's Day gnome kind of looks like Santa, but I was working with that limited color palette, even though I guess I could have used purple since I already broke the rule with the window, but I didn't. I used red and yeah, he looks a little bit like Santa Claus, but that's okay. He's a Valentine's Day gnome and we'll know. We'll know the difference. 
I debated whether or not I should paint the bottom, but if it ever does hang up, you would see the bottom, so I did, and I want the birds to be happy. And then I decided that the front was still looking a little bit plain, so I tried to do some splatters on the front, and I do think it added to it, but it made me have to do quite a few touch-ups later because, as you can see, I couldn't really control the splatter, and it went everywhere so i had to clean that up afterwards but it was worth it and i also flipped the house around and did some splatter on the back too so that it would match and then finally for the back of the house i decided to add a little picket fence maybe this bird wants to own a dog i don't know so he's got a little fenced in backyard and after that i was pretty much done i did decide to varnish this one so it would be nice and shiny and hopefully protected from some weather just in case I ever do hang it. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Happy Valentine's Day. Be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Here is the final results for this Valentine's Day themed birdhouse.